So this video is just to show how to install the Nulero guidance system into FS2024. So there's my community folder FS2024. It's got the Gatwick project in. If you look at sim objects, landmarks, the Nulero VDGS is a, a sim object and that need, needs to be there for Nulero to work. So the Null Arrow module folder you can download from MSFS Visual Docking Guidance System. Just click on releases and then you've got a new folder here for FS2024. So I prefer the zip file. So I download the zip file and all you do is just copy the Null Arrow module into the community folder. So there is an install information, just explains that you extract it into your community folder and then you need to set the path of the simulator's app data folder. So it says in the new Nulero VDGS utility, so I'm going to go to config, this one here, edit, okay this is going to be blank. So after the equals, you can scroll down and just copy. If it's a Windows Store version, you just copy this part and paste it into here. But you need to change your computer name. Mine is MKVY. So when you've done that, you just save the, the file. Then you can go down to rescan devices click any key and then it'll scan it and it should work at Gatwick so if I look in my in the GSX profiles that I include in the download there is a profile for Nulero VDGS a GSX profile for using the Nulero units so I just use the A320 put it into the Virtuali folder of G GSX so that way you'll only have the Null Aero units being displayed so that's how to install Null Aero into 2024 so I'm going to start the sim now I'm in a 320 for some reason there's no sound by the well I can hear this it does happen sometimes with FS 2024 it could be a problem conflict with my VR headset but I'm just going to taxi now to stand free it looks like there's an aircraft on stand free and now I can't see anything I'm going to try to change the gate Gate two. It's looking like it's working. Stop.
and the jetway works. So Nulero is working. <laughs> 